What's up everyone, Lion Roar here, and Empires and Puzzles has given us some brand new heroes in the Three Kingdoms Summon Portal, so I'm gonna break down the legendary heroes and give them some grades. But first, join me over in Gemstone Legends. It's a fantastic match three RPG game, and it's players that get in early on games like this that are at the biggest advantage. Not only will you help the channel out by using the link in the description of this video, but you're going to get a free epic hero named Moralia along with a bunch of gold, gems, and potions. After you download the game, you'll have access to events which will get you even more amazing heroes and loot. Guys, wow, you don't want to miss this opportunity because you do not get it in the regular app store. Download it now, and I will see you in Gemstone Legends. Alright, so first up we have a very unique healer named Diakin. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. If I'm not, just let me know in the comments how it's actually pronounced. Um, but she is a 5-star purple hero of the Sorcerer class, and I'm going to go over this uh, Kingdom Family bonus just once, since of course they're all going to have it, but... Uh, basically, you get a bonus for having one, two, or three heroes, and that's either two, four, or six percent mana each time a minion summoned for the hero. And that does matter if you get multiples of these, and two, three, or four percent heal each time a minion is summoned for the hero. And of course, that matters too. These little incremental things add up um, over the course of a match. Now they also have morale boost. So um, if you're using the heroes. Uh, not only does this hero get a bonus in War of the Three Kingdoms, but all the other heroes you bring, whether they're War of the Three Kingdoms heroes or not, get 10% attack, 3% defense, and 7% health. Um, so that's really cool and might actually make your uh, War of Three Kingdoms teams different than your Alliance War teams or your Raid teams and things like that. So it is bringing a little bit of diversity to the meta. Um, so do keep that in mind. Uh, Diakin has... 797 attack um that doesn't matter as much as the longevity i think but it does matter because that attack is really high so at least the tile damage is going to be um pretty high plus the minions that it gives uh are going to um uh inherit some of this attack as well so uh usually attack doesn't matter much at all on these healer heroes but it does matter here at least a little bit 788 defense is good. 1437 uh, health is also good. Lady's Charm is the special at fast for a healer. That's incredible. We don't see too many healers at fast speed. There are a couple, um, but she recovers 35% health for all allies. And if the text just stopped there, she would already be good. But she also summons a lackey minion for the caster and nearby allies with 15% HP and 19% attack inherited from the caster so you do probably want to go i'd say like attack hp talent route on this if you do get her uh, because of that it's going to help the minions a lot um and each time a lackey minion hits an enemy it steals a random dispellable buff from the enemy and gives it to its owner now that piece of text right there is like oh that's cool that's kind of unique um but it's i think a lot more powerful than a lot of people are giving it credit for because this is going to be really good against some of the best buffs in the game right now. I mean, think about some of the heroes you're going up against. There's Krampus with Taunt, Ludwig with Taunt, there's Black Knight with Taunt, and this is going to be able to steal them pretty easily. Not only that, but there's a, a number of heroes that give dodge now. Um, you know, Costume Caitlyn is one that I have, and you see Costume Caitlyn a lot, and also Hinitra, a recent um, Hero of the Month, and, so, and there's a few others as well. But it's so hard to dispel the dodge because sometimes the heroes dodge the dispel, right? Not this one. If the minion hits the hero, it's stealing the dodge. So Diakin is going to be great against those uh, defenses that have a lot of dodge effects. It kind of figures that Small Giant Games will put out, um, after putting out a, a, a nice hero of the month, to put out another hero that just absolutely like destroys its effect. But hey... Um, so this is a very fantastic healer already with an amazing and unique effect. Um, I can't give Diakin anything other than an A uh, because I think that she's going to be super powerful, especially paired with other Three Kingdom heroes, if you happen to get the opportunity to do that. Next up, we have Zhang Fei, who is a holy fighter. And of course, getting that 
Kingdom Family bonus we talked about before with 848 attack with 749 defense, 1388 HP. So now 749 defense, 1388 HP back in the day used to be very good. Um, today with the types of heroes that they're releasing, he's a little bit of a glass cannon. So when you compare him to recent heroes, his defense and HP are a little bit on the low side with the attack being absolutely enormous. However, compared to all the heroes in Empires and Puzzles, 749 defense and 1388 HP is still very, very good. So he's going to be amazing just based on base stats. Of course, that all depends on the special too, which is also fast, just like Diakon. Viper Blade deals 530% damage to the target. He's a mega sniper. All allies reflect status ailments that affect defense back to the attacker for three turns. This effect cannot be bypassed. Um, now, that's really cool because it's sort of like a faux defense down type of special. Um, of course, it depends on the uh, opponents having that particular effect. And so, you know, of course, if Zhang Fei or however you pronounce his name again, you can let me know in the comments and correct me. Um, uh, you know, when he's on defense, you just basically don't bring that. If he's on offense, you can use him to great effect. This is a great offensive hero. Um, but certainly will be great on defense, too, because you don't necessarily need that second bullet point when Zhang Fei is just basically taking out heroes with one shot. And that's going to happen quite a lot. Um, because he is a fighter, you can just tuck him away in the corner. You know, I've used Costume June for a long time now, who's also a fighter, and I just tuck him in the corner. And he does a great job there, and a lot of people um, do that as well. And so he's going to serve the same kind of purpose. I think because he's probably the... I don't know. He's he's up there with being one of the best snipers, if not the best sniper in the game right now. Even though the special has very little text, the best thing you can do in this game is kill a hero. Because if you kill a hero, it can't do anything. Um, there's less play happening on the other side of the board if that happens. And Zhang Fei is causing that to happen. So I have to give Zhang Fei an A. <laughs> because... Usually I'd give snipers in this day and age B pluses or A minuses due to, you know, um, not necessarily being as powerful as they used to be, but this is a very powerful one. Now let's take a look at Lu Bu, who is another purple hero, barbarian class, 778 attack, 791 defense, and 1479 HP. So it's a very tough hero, very tough hero. Um, disrupting charge is the special. It's slow. I always have to knock the grade down a little bit when it's slow. Um, only because, uh, just like we saw with the first couple of heroes here, they're making such powerful specials at fast speed that slow is just getting left behind. Except, of course, in very fast wars and tournaments. So, of course, we do have to consider Lu Bu for that as well, because there will be use in slow metas, um, or where, where slow can be used uh, as a very fast effect. Uh, disrupting charge deals 295% damage to all enemies. That's quite a lot. That's quite a lot. Summons a mercenary fiend for all enemies. The fiend damages the enemy with 48% attack every turn. The mercenary fiend absorbs healing and disappears when it has absorbed health equal to 32% of its target's max health. And the mercenary fiend's target is immune to new buffs as long as the target has mercenary fiends. This effect can't be cleansed. So um, that's a really cool effect. I think you're probably not going to see Lubu a whole lot in any non-very fast type of setting. Um, and, you know, so that does limit his use. And I do kind of grade on, like, how much you're going to be able to use this hero. Are you going to be able to use him in tournaments and wars and all, you know, regardless of what type it is are you going to be able to use it in um some of the uh various events and things that there are well i i can't say that you're going to be able to use lubu for that um so that does limit his upside a little bit if you're just trying to get your money's worth however in those very fast tournaments and wars he is going to be amazing so if you get him you're still lucky and you're going to get use out of him, and he's going to be really hard to deal with in those particular settings. So for that reason, I'm going to give Lubu a B plus. He probably would be in the A range like the other heroes if he were just a little bit faster. Um, but uh, again, another really strong hero, another very good one. Um, I don't think you should feel bad at all if you get him uh, because he is powerful, uh, but you're just not going to be able to use him in 
all the same situations that you might be able to use the other heroes in. Guan Yu is a five-star nature hero of the Paladin class with 815 attack, 764 defense, and 1435 HP. The special is Green Dragon Crescent Blade at average speed, so put that level 23 mana troop on it to make it fast, or, <laughs> you know, get one of the... the uh, new tower troops that just came out you can level it up uh does, you don't have to go all the way up to level 23 in order to get this uh, to go off basically at fast speed deals 390 percent damage to the target nearby enemies that's that's quite a lot for um target nearby enemies damage bypasses the target's minions the target nearby enemies get negative 25 percent defense and further negative three percent defense for each minion owned by enemies for three turns up to negative 70 percent defense this effect can't be cleansed so this is interesting because a lot of the heroes that they're putting out provide minions. And then you have Guan Yu here who um, is like a minion hater type of hero and is going to kill heroes regardless whether they have minions or not. So, you know, with all the uh, Christmas heroes coming out and then this one, you know, it makes sense to me now why they're creating minion hate heroes because all these minion heroes are pretty powerful. So if you get Guan Yu, you're going to be able to fight in this meta. This is a, a hero you're looking for um, uh, not only to bypass all the minions that are going to be created, but also because it does give that um, defense debuff type of effect that is just so powerful in the Empires and Puzzles and really important to be being able to defeat the enemy. Um, now, I don't think that Guan Yu is quite as powerful or versatile as some of the first heroes I reviewed here, but he still is very powerful and I always tend to favor heroes that give that defense down type of effect um, because you're going to use him more as a toolbox hero to fight in the minion meta. Um, you're going to find quite a bit of use of, for him. You can use him in all settings regardless of whether it's very fast, you know, arrows, um, you know, attack boost, whatever, whatever. Uh, so I, I think that, um, you know, you can safely say that he's going to be pretty good. I'd give him an A minus. Um, and that could change. Like, you could tell there's probably a little hesitation in my voice because, like, his quality sort of depends on what the meta is going to be. So if the meta is going to be full of minions, then he's going to be better. If, if they're not full of minions, then he's probably going to sit on the sideline. So um, it's going to kind of depend on that. But that's what I'll uh, give him for right now because it's looking like we're going to need him. And finally, we have Zhu Lang, who is a holy five-star hero, sorcerer class with 700 attack, 869 defense, which is amazing, and uh, 1,516 HP, which is also quite amazing. The special is um, Martial Master Stroke. Interesting name. <laughs> Mana speed slow. So again, you know how I feel about slow specials. Um, there is a place for them, but with a slow special, it better just end the game when it goes off. That's how I uh, feel about that. Um, uh, so the, basically what the special is going to do is summon a shoe soldier minion for each ally with 9% HP and 17% attack. Shoe soldier minion gives its owner the ability to counterattack the 50% of the damage received for as long as the owner has a shoe soldier minion. This effect can't be dispelled. Summons a Shu Gorilla Fiend for all enemies. The Fiend damages the enemies with 65% attack every turn. And the Shu Gorilla Fiend absorbs healing and disappears when it has absorbed 50% of the target's health. Now, uh, this is amazing because it creates minions and fiends. Um, and it's going to be absolutely devastating <laughs> and really hard to deal with in those very fast wars and tournaments. So he's going to be so, so good there. And I think you might even be able to find some use for him in the, in the regular settings where very fast isn't, you know, one of the, the uh, types that you're um, fighting in, but uh, he is um, probably going to take a little bit of a hit only because this special, not only is it slow, but the effect is a little slow too. It takes some time then for the minions to do their damage. Um, he does protect the team a bit with the, um, I'm sorry, the fiends. It takes a little while to do their damage. The minions as well, it'll protect the team a little bit, but he's not doing anything super proactive. So usually on slow heroes, I like to see a specialist just gonna come out and like wipe a team or make it impossible to win. That's not really the case here. 
So um, I think for that reason, I'm going to give uh, Zhu Zlang a B plus. However, <laughs> of course, in those very fast wars and tournaments, you're going to notice that um, he's just so darn hard to deal with. All right, so those are my thoughts, but of course, it's just speculation. So make sure to leave a comment letting me know what you think about these heroes. If there's anything that I missed about particular heroes you think is going to be important to consider or what grades you would give, if you get them and test them out, I want to know about that too. And if you haven't already, please consider liking the video, subscribing, and hitting that bell notification so you know when I drop new videos or go live. And I will catch you in the next one.